Hi, this is Kevin K. Shaw. Some of you know me by my social handle, Creative AI Agency. Today I want to show you a little trick you could do using Photoshop and Generative Fill in order to replace an object, or a subject, or a character, or even just part of the shot in a particular video. For this workflow we'll be using Midjourney, Adobe Generative Fill, Runway ML, and lastly Adobe Premiere Pro. You can add a step of uprising with Magnific AI, as I often do, but it's not necessary here. Quick background. My Gen 48 Round 2 entry idea was born out of some experimentation I was doing with this kind of replacement. It started out inspired from a post by Nicholas Newbert on X. The post gave us some insight into how to create our own titles, run them through Gen 1, and then bring them into Gen 2 and animate them. I used a few of the techniques I learned from his tutorial video in my project. Briefly, my runway Gen 48 submission this round was an advertisement from a dystopian Black Mirror type of future, where there's an app by which you can replace your partner's face in augmented reality. It's not at all what I think is the right thing to do, or the kind thing to do, and the idea of an app like this terrifies me, to be honest. But once I saw all the excitement around Apple Vision Pro, I just had to make this with the intention of it being darkly funny. The last moment in this film I was making was with a golden retriever, which is one of the three requirements our film had to have from the Gen 48 contest rules. My spoiled dog, of course, got to wear a Vision Pro headset. The prompt was actually just ski goggles. And in the reverse shot, I was gonna replace the face of his companion. So to do this, first I had to generate two dogs that were similar in Mid Journey, version six. I used a prompt with a variety of tweaks, but the base of it was basically a beautiful female golden retriever dog looking at camera in a cabin next to a couch. After trial and error, and once I found one that I liked, I modified the prompt to add good old dog for the older version. I found these two that would work. So after downloading my selections from Mid Journey, the first thing I did was some quick and dirty color. It's Gen 48, so everything's quick and dirty, but I just used the adjust color setting in tools from Simple Preview. I added exposure, brought up the shadow a little bit, a bit of color, added some warmth to match the other image that we're working with, a little bit more exposure here, and that's it. The last thing I did was to horizontal flop the dog so it matched the same position as our younger dog. And then I saved the files and brought them into Photoshop. I could adjust the color in Photoshop too, but for speed I just did it in preview. Once inside Photoshop, I lowered the opacity on the top layer of the old dog shot so I could match the position of the old dog with the younger dog. Doing this also revealed how much new frame I'd have to create. So after that, I simply used generative fill to fill in the rest of the shot. I had to erase the black letterbox added by Midjourney, otherwise generative fill gets a little confused, but the result is pretty awesome and instant once generative fill starts doing its thing. Once done with that, I switched over to the younger pup and here just use the lasso tool to make a basic quick and dirty outline. Again, since the time was of the essence, I just cut out the younger dog and placed it as a layer over the older dog. It works really well without much adjustment. You can even see I kept some parts of the older dog, like the tail here and the hindquarters. So now suddenly I have two shots, two dogs in the same position, same background. So the last thing to do is export these shots. I did a quick export as a PNG, and brought that over to Runway Gen 2 for some image to video. Once in Runway, motion brush wasn't needed because it was gonna be a quick shot, but I did add a little camera move here, and I kept movement settings at five and added a 0.9 zoom. For some reason, I often find that a value of 0.9 works better than one in terms of how it generates. Once these two shots are complete and exported, I have the effect I wanna make, ready to edit. The last step is to bring these exports both into Premiere Pro and simply layer the shots. I cut where I want the dog to change, and in the case of my film, it was the rhythm of the music that I made in Splash Pro. Finally, once I have it right, I export it, and I'm done. The ending of my short is finished, and I end kind of on a punchline with the dog here. This is what the final sequence looks like, and you can find the entire short in the link below. I hope you enjoyed this. Tune in for more from me from time to time for things that aren't often covered, tips, techniques, and some things that I've learned along the way. Thanks for watching.